Welcome to the microprocessor and microcontroller lecture series. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some basic function of the buses used in this microprocessor. Then, how the data can be read from the memory and how the data write to the memory. This topics to cover in this lecture. Clear? Already we see this computer system. In this computer system, it has the memory element. Okay, this is the microprocessor element. This is the input and output devices. Okay, clear. This microprocessor and memory element can be interfaced by using the buses. By using the buses. And as well as input device and output device can be connected to the microprocessor by using the buses. Okay, In the buses, what is mean by bus? Everybody is mind. The bus is the it can carry some information. This is the bus. The buses is a set of lines. This is the conducting wires. Clear? This conducting wires is only carrying the signals in the form of zeros and one. That means the high signal and the low signal. Okay, clear? This buses can be classified into three types. What are the types of buses? One is the address bus, data bus, and control bus. What is address bus? The address bus to send the address of the memory to the microprocessor to the memory element. Next is the data bus. What is data bus? Data bus to carrying the information to the memory or taking the information from the memory. This is the data bus. Next one is the control bus. In a control bus, there are several control systems are available in this computer processor. But in this basis, I only discuss about the read and write control signal. Whenever you are want to read the data from this memory, the control bus send that control signal of read and the data is, is going to write to the memory, the write control signal can be enabled. This three address bus, data bus and control bus is also called as the system bus. Clear? This is the basic buses used in this microprocessor. The buses in the sun, it is a set of line, it can carry the signals or it is a conducting wires carrying the signals from 0 to 1. It is a three type address bus, data bus and control bus. Address bus is carrying the address and data bus carrying the information and control bus to controlling the function of the CPU. This is called as the microprocessor bus. Next, this is the motherboard. In this motherboard, it has the address bus. This address bus can interface in between the processor to the RAM. Here we are go, we are fitting the RAM, random access memory. This random access memory, each and every memory element, it has some addresses. This address bus is ca carrying the address of the signal. Next is the data bus. This data bus is carrying the information from the memory or information to the memory. It can interface to the microprocessor as well as it is interface to the input output devices. Okay. Next is the control bus. It can establish the controlling operation in between the CPU and the RAM. Okay. I am eliminate the input and output devices. Okay. Here is only considered the RAM and the processor. Here is the 8-bit processor. That's why it has 8 address bus and 8 data bus. Now my example. Okay. How the data can be read from this memory. The first example I want to tell, I want to explain with you how the data can be read from the memory. Here we are considering the 256 bytes RAM. This RAM it has a address lines. It is a 8-bit, that's why it is a 8-bit address lines and it is a data lines, it is a 8-bit data lines and, and set and enable this is a control signal. It is directly connected to the processor, it is directly connected to the processor. In each and every location of the RAM, it has a unique address. Now we are going to access or we are going to read one particular address data from this memory. How to access? First, we are going to give the input from the CPU. We are giving the input from the CPU to the RAM. That time, the signal can be enabled or the signal can be passed through the RAM. Okay. 
Next, that time we are going to enabling the read operation. It can enable what is going to happen. This signal can be finding the location of the memory. This is the location of the memory. Then, if you are enabling the read operation, the data, this is the data is available in this particular location. This data can be read from this memory. This the data can be read from the memory to the processor. Then the processor can perform in some processing in the names of addition, subtraction, or any other arithmetic and logical operation can be performed inside the processor. Next, now we are going to see how the data write to the memory. First, we are finding the address of the memory. Now we are choosing the 14010 is our address. This is the 8 bit address. Okay, next. The data is the data is the data is one one four zero one zero. This is our data. This data to be stored in the particular location. Now the address is also finding the address is also enabled and the data is also sent to the RAM. But this control signals only whenever you are enabling the control signal that is a set signal is a right operation. The set signal is a right operation. Whenever you are enabling the set signal, that time the data can to write in this particular memory location. Basic function of the address bus and data bus. Once again, I repeat, what is the function of the address bus? In this address bus, it can send the address to the memory. This finding the address it depends upon the control signal, which function we are going to perform read or write operation. Read or write operation. If you are want to the re enable the read signal, the data is read from the memory. You are enabling the write signal, the data to be stored in this memory. This is the basic function of the microprocessor. This is a function of the simple example of the buses used in this microprocessor. Okay, thank you.